And in business, the federal government on Thursday said its low revenue was affecting its ability to serve debts and fund day-to-day -day recurrent expenditure. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, told journalists on the sidelines of a World Bank slash International Monetary Funds meeting in Washington, D.C., that although Nigeria did not have a debt problem, she said on the performance of our revenue is causing a significant strain in our ability to service debt. She also spoke about the $3 billion loan Nigeria was seeking from the World Bank, saying the money would be used to finance the past sector. Recall that as seen in the budget presentation by President Mohamed Buhari, 2.5 trillion naira of 10.3 trillion naira budget presented to the National Assembly on October 8th would be spent on debt servicing. Justifying the $3 billion loan from the World Bank, the minister said she would be holding further discussions with the management of the bank to present how the fund would be disbursed for the part project. In line with the plan of the federal government for the past sector, the loan would be used for the development of transmission and distribution networks to enhance delivery of electricity. She further said there is a proposed $2.5 billion to $3 billion facility for the past sector development program in Nigeria, and this will include development of the transmission networks and the distribution networks, as well as removing the challenges that would currently have in the electricity sector. Meanwhile, oil prices fell on Friday after China recorded its weakest quarter of economic growth in nearly three decades, escalated by a trade dispute with the United States. Global Brent, benchmark Brent crude oil futures fell by 34 cents to $59.57 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas intermediate crude futures were down by 12 cents to $53.81 per barrel. In the third quarter, China's economy growth slowed to 6% year-on-year, while which was below expectations. However, crude demand grew, growth tends to slowly, to closely follow economic growth. And on the activities of the Nigerian stock exchange, the market's capitalization of the Nigerian stock markets closed lower on Thursday, dropping by 8 billion naira. Specifically, the market's capitalization, which opened at 12.88 trillion naira, dipped by 0.06%, or 8 billion naira, to close at 12.878 trillion naira. The stock market recorded losses after Thursday's trade as the All Share Index dropped by 0.06%. To close at 26,456.29. Total deals after the close of trade was 2,347 with an equity capitalization of 12.878 trillion naira. On the list of top gainers was MTN Nigeria, which closed at a share price value of 129 naira per share, while Flamu closed at a share price value of 15 naira 10 koba per share. On the list of top decliners was Guarantee, which dropped to a share price value of 26 naira 65 koba per share, while Dankte Flat dropped to a share price value of 23 naira per share. However, on the list of top trades was Guarantee, with a volume of 35.218 million shares traded at a value of 946.735 million naira. And on sectorial indices, NSA insurance was up 0.73%, NSA oil and gas remained unchanged, NSA banking was down 0.86%, NSA consumer goods was up 0.07%, and NSA industrial was down by 0.08%. And in the Lagos parallel market, the Naira traded to a dollar, buying at 358 Naira to a dollar and selling at 360 Naira to a dollar. The Naira bought at 446 Naira to a pound and sold at 453 Naira to a pound. The Naira bought at 387 Naira to a euro and traded at 393 Naira to a euro.